Hey guys, welcome back to Little Helpful Files. My name is Lindsay and we do cash budgeting, mini savings, life in general, all through the glory and by the grace of God. I am trying to get caught up, uh, you know, I'm just behind and I'm okay with it. That's just how it's been. The Lord uh, has given me a lot of grace here <laughs> and I continue to lean on him through all of this because um, you know, the days can just get crazy. So in this video, I am packing a lot in. We're gonna go through wrapping up my January budget, setting up February, and then I do have my sinking funds I need to update. Um, so I've already done a lot of it, so kinda just gonna be going through like totals and stuff with you guys just to keep on track. But before we get started in that, I do wanna go over with y'all. So let me just pull this out first. So. I'm going to be doing this as a little freebie with your Etsy purchase between now and February 14th. So I thought that this was really cute. Um, lots of love. It is love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. And that is a portion of 1 Corinthians 13. So you guys will get this in the message that comes after you make a purchase. There will be a link for the Google drive document and if for some reason it doesn't work you guys can email me and i can just send it to you but it should work fine um, when you click on that link and i just thought that this would be cute for february going into the love um and obviously the most important love is the love that jesus has for us and that we need to always remember who we are in him and what our worth is you know as we continue to surrender and to live our life according to his ways um, which are so so far beyond what we could ever have planned or do <laughs> all right so like i said i'm going to be kind of going through this trying to get a lot covered here um i hope that this is not too confusing but i kind of want to have the side by sides so i've already filled in what i've got going on for january so we're going to go through and just total up what we have um, i kind of made a mistake here i thought that we had spent 218 on gas, but it's actually 118, which is insane. But again, with between sickness, weather, and all of that, that kind of carried over into January, right? Like it definitely changed how much we were out and traveling. So let's go ahead and start with calculating all this up. And I will, it will likely be off a little bit. I had a little bit extra, um, but then went over a little in some categories. So we'll see how this all shakes out. This one always is pretty standard. These are, you know, the ones that we can kind of predict um, and know very clearly what they're going to be. They don't change. So let's see, we've got that. Of course, 160, so minus the 160. All right, coming up here, so our electric, a little bit less than where I budgeted or gauged for, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so electric has definitely been crazy. We have electric space heaters in each of the rooms and we can't wait till we can get them out, y'all. It is just terrible. It is not good. They don't actually work, which is I think the most frustrating thing for me personally <laughs> because I'm so cold and I want to be able to have the heat, but turning them on really does nothing um it doesn't really heat much of the house and we end up paying a boatload more so okay 480 plus the 427 and i am doing my sinking fund stuffing which is late i should have done that in january but we're still going to count it as january so 907 so we do have a little carry over minus 907 and i think i've told you guys before if we have carry over um, I basically leave that in the account. It just stays in our HELOC. So since we don't have a mortgage, it's better for us to just leave funds in our account. So as we get paid, everything goes into the HELOC and then we pull the expenses out of that. So like I've said before, zero based budgeting, you know, it doesn't have to always be zero and we can have carryover or rollover, which totally is fine and works. Now, Praise the Lord, he has provided in so many ways, and I'm so, so, so thankful and grateful. So I have had a little extra on Etsy. I usually don't take a lot from Etsy, to be honest, because with the supplies I need and just the cost of stuff, plus obviously taxes and the fees, I end up kind of just putting it right back into the business. So I really don't take a lot or make a lot. 
All right, I was just rambling on and this was not even recording. So basically I was just saying January was one of my best months and I'm thankful to you guys for the support. I am so incredibly grateful. We have fees coming up that we need to pay for the baby. Um, and I am also very grateful for our family who has blessed us with some extra funds that we did not expect. So I did not include that in with income because it's going straight towards the baby fees that we have and that we need. So as you see here, the sinking fund, I'm actually not gonna be doing for this month because I need to be putting the $400 towards the baby fee. And I think after this we'll have, I think we have like 300 left that we need, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna go through, kind of add all this up, um, this standard, this literally, sometimes, I don't know if you guys see this, where like your insurance will fluctuate by like a dollar or two. So anyway, that's what it is here. So the 710 will be the same as what we had with January. Um, so 3706 minus 710 is the 2996 and then minus 160. I went ahead and tried to fill some of this stuff out. That way, um, again, my video wasn't like super long. Whoops, I was supposed to put 160 there, but oh well. All right, so electric and then grocery and gas. So let's see, 2836 minus the 410, and then minus the 515 that we did for our variable envelopes, and then minus the 700 that we'll do for that, and minus 400. So it leaves us with 811, which I think I'm gonna do 700 for the groceries, and honestly, I'm bumping that gas down again because we really haven't been using it. So that'll be 111. So let's see if this all shakes out. Um, sometimes I do that, you know, kind of working backwards and figuring out, especially when I see, oh my gosh, I just added that wrong. Especially when I see a category that we're like continuing to spend less. Um, I want to make those adjustments. Now, again, I could be totally wrong and I could end up spending more on gas this month but i don't really foresee that we don't really have any major plans to be going anywhere so we have a lot um just kind of like local stuff planned and happening for the month so so one one so 1100 and then so that should equal yeah well i don't even need the calculator but i still did it <laughs> so you've got remaining zero so that totals our 3706 minus our 3706 to give us remaining. And again, this is just the way that we kind of budget. Actual is gonna end up being different, but this allows us to give every single dollar a home and a place and a use, and hopefully cut down on that, you know, additional uh, discretionary or extra spending that happens. That kind of wraps that up. So what I'm gonna do now is switch gears. I do have something I wanna read from the Bible because it is Thankful Thursday. So if you guys could, again, leave a comment of something you're thankful or grateful for, that would be amazing. I absolutely love to see and hear just the way that we can all Praise and give glory and honor to the Lord. Again, no matter what we're facing, no matter what circumstances we're going through, we can always find something to praise the Lord for. Um, so I'm gonna read that, then we'll switch gears. We'll do the sinking fund from January that I need to finish and that'll kind of wrap up this video. I will then be doing a video on Instagram, stuffing the variable envelopes for February. Um, and yeah, we'll just see how this kind of shakes out. Electric, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, my husband already got the bill for it, so we know what it's going to be. And it just keeps going up. Like every month, I think it's gone up at least $50, if not $100. So we've been trying to cut back on that, but y'all, until we can like save up for the mini splits and just rip all those space heaters out, it's gonna be a little rough. All right, let's switch gears. All right, guys, so this is Psalm 111. And again, as we're in this just kind of a thought process of the thankfulness and having gratitude that I want to draw us towards on Thursday, um, because thankful Thursday just sounds good. <laughs> We're going to read this psalm. So it says, Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. In the company of the upright and in the assembly, great are the works of the Lord. They are studied by all who delight in them. Splendid and majestic is his work, and his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He has given food to those who fear him. He will remember his covenant forever. 
He has made known to his people the power of his works in giving them heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are truth and justice. His precepts are sure. They are upheld forever and ever. They are performed in truth and in uprightness. He has set redemption in his people. He has ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commands. His praise endures forever. So I this part here where he's given food to those who fear him, um, I've been reading in 2 Kings, and it's just amazing to me, you know, throughout the Bible, but the Old Testament where God will provide food for people in times where, like, you literally don't know, like, how that even could be possible. And the one, I think it was Elijah who was um, being kind of called out into the desert, and God provided food from the ravens, like the ravens brought him food, which is just wild to me, but also beautiful, because um, as we see, you know, groceries getting expensive and things changing, I just want us to keep our eyes fixed and focused on, like, the fact that nothing is too hard for God, um, you know, and He will continue to provide, but we must seek Him, we must surrender everything to Him, we must look to Him to guide us, to lead us, and to provide for us. And Lord, thank you, God. He has definitely been providing in ways that we could not imagine right now. Um, with all the expenses, like I said, coming up and with the baby fees and all of that, I'm just blown away by his faithfulness and his provisions um, when we continue to trust in him. It's so easy, guys, to want to try to take matters into your own hands. Like that is our initial thing when we started realizing like all these expenses that were going to come up around the same time. You know, you first want to be like, all right, well, we could start doing this or we could do this. And then it's like, no, we need to stop. We need to pray. We need to lift this up to God and we need to watch him work. And y'all, it is a beautiful thing when you get to see that happening and unfolding because he does work wonders. Praise the Lord and all glory and honor to him. Okie dokie, sinking fun stuffing. Here we go. So we should have 427. 1, 2, 20. 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 25, 6, 7. Now, the one thing I didn't think about, y'all, was a change. So you might have to give me a minute because I don't think I have enough change to break down for these envelopes. Let me just double check. All right, I didn't have to go very far. My blessing fund had 200. I must have gotten off somewhere here. So I went ahead and swapped out the 200s. Well, it was 20 dollars worth of 200 and put the hundreds in here um and we are going to be stuffing 50 in this one and i don't have tens oh my gosh you guys oh <laughs> i can't even i tell you guys like when i am trying to do too much in one video pff, i struggle what am i doing i just need two 20s and one 10. okay so we'll put that in there that's just so crazy to me though but i guess at some point i put money in here and somehow didn't color it in i'm not really sure um, I thought I was doing good, keeping on track, but hey, you know, maybe it was just some little ble extra blessing in the blessings. <laughs> um, so here, this is the mortgage fund. Again, I'm keeping track with the HELOC. So we've had three payments now going in um, to our mortgage sinking fund. And again, this is like all of our money going in and then expenses coming out. So this really has to do a lot with cash flow. So we'll continue to kind of monitor that and then this is our loan sinking fund. So as we're getting further, I forgot to color one of those in, which I'll have to do that later. But I'm doing the 160 each month to be able to pay this off in time. And then this is our holiday fund. So for this one, we are doing 50. I did two of the little mugs to be able to fill this one up. And let's see. Make sure I have the right amount in this one because I obviously seem to like not be keeping track. Again, uh, just too much, too all over the place, trying to juggle too many things. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, so that one's right. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't mess that one up. And then Homestead, I'm actually putting in, I believe, yeah, 80. I'd like to be able to put in a little bit more for this one just because... I have my homestead fund for the month to be able to pay for food, but then if there's other items that we need for the chickens and Mitten, our bunny, um, which I will show you a clip of them. They have gotten so big, guys, like I can't get over it, and I'm so excited because hopefully in a couple months we'll have some eggs laying, but they're really squirrely. 
and it's fun to just watch them and the kids have had a blast with them. Um, my son is really good at catching them too <laughs> and yeah, it's just been a lot of fun for our family. So, all right, camping, sinking fun. I think I had told you guys that we were going to use this towards like a trip or something, but most likely this is probably going to be going towards baby fund. Wait, am I doing, si yeah, 60 in this one. Um, I don't really know. We had talked about possibly doing a trip for my husband and my daughter's birthday in March, but haven't really decided on that yet. And the fees that we need to be paying are going to come up before that. So this may go towards that fund if we need. Again, we'll just see. We'll see what the Lord does and how things shake out. But at least I kind of have it as a backup here if I need it, if we don't end up using it for, you know, a trip or um, like a camping thing instead. And then subscriptions. I thought I had put money in this one, but apparently not. So this is the first time I'm stuffing it for this year. So we've got 60 going in to that one. And I usually, I have some that come out like in the middle of the year. Like well, I think one hits the middle of the year and then the others are at the end of the year. So that should be fine. And then we'll move on to the kiddos. Oh my gosh. All right, moving on to the kids binder. So this is our savings for their stuff. And I am putting in 72 in here, 72, y'all, I totally took something extra because I'm going to be off. I don't know what I did. So 72 in here because we are going to be needing in a few months to get some more supplies for my son's uh, curriculum. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. Oh, there's a 10. <laughs> uh, 52, <laughs> 53, 54, 55, 56. Oh, welcome to the crazy, chaotic cash stuffing. <laughs> Cleansy. Um, all right, baseball. I was planning to just put a 10 in here and round up. And so, y'all, what in the world did I do? Because this means that... I have 20 and 25. So I somehow took like 40. I don't know what I did. You know what? I wonder if I put, did I put it in the blessings? Hmm. No, because that was 50 that I put in there. Oh, I don't know, guys. I only got $5 left. <laughs> well, here's what I'm going to do. I don't love this, but I'm going to take out of here because I clearly, I miscalculated, but I need to still finish. I want to put 20 in here. I already moved diaper fund into an account from um, gift from holiday, but I do want to put then 25 in this one. So we're going to go ahead and take two 20s out of that. I don't know what I did wrong, but um, we're going to just hope that I find extra money in one of the envelopes when I go back through. Maybe I will. If I do, I'll put it up on the screen when I edit. <laughs> and then let's see. So travel, yeah, 125 then in our travel gear. So again, just trying to get a head start on some of this stuff for the baby. This one, like I said, is just in a high yield account instead of keeping it in here. And with this, I don't really need like a ton of stuff, but I think I've said before, like a car seat and a diaper bag is pretty much what we really need. So that is going to wrap up this video. Sorry for the craziness and, um, you know, just hope y'all realize this is real life. There's real life budgeting here, guys. You get to come along for the mess ups and the journey. <laughs> but I love you guys. I thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. And I pray the Lord will continue to just lead you and guide you in everything that you're doing and in your budget and that he will just make sure to remind you that he's got you, that he's able to provide all of your needs. You just have to lay it before the Father. All right, guys. See you guys in a video soon, and may the Lord bless you. Bye.